Hello and welcome to How to Use AWeber. My name is Terry Bork and I'm really excited to have you here today. This is class one of seven. Um, just to tell you a little bit about me before we get started, I'm a divorced mom of two amazing teenagers and I became involved in social media marketing because my income uh, was capped uh, because corporate America placed a ceiling on how much they thought that I was worth. So the only way that I could provide for my kids and be do and have everything that I wanted was to forge my own path and that's what I'm doing. Today I want to show you how to use an autoresponder and um, get it all set up. Um, what some of the things we're going to discuss in this series is setting up your account, creating your confirmation emails, creating a follow-up message, creating your broadcast message, and finally creating your web form so that you can stick your web form on your squeeze page and start to generate um, your list, okay? And finally, the last uh, thing I'm gonna share with you is how to become an affiliate over with a Weber um, so that when you work with somebody, um, you can also get paid. If you currently don't have an autoresponder set up for yourself, um, AWeber is really great. They're easy to use and um, you know I, I really like them and I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, but please sign up under my link. That's how I get paid for sharing this great content with, with you if you think that this video provides you with some value. And the link for my AWeber is um, the http colon forward slash forward slash aweber.com forward slash question mark 328241 and I have to tell you that yes I, I will get paid if you do sign up under my link so I thank you ahead of time okay so um, let's talk about um, why you would want to use um, aweber and um, which autoresponders are out there um, and there are two that I use every, all the time. The first one that I use that we're not talking about today is eye contact. I like eye contact because I can manually enter in my leads into eye contact and keep in constant touch with them. I like a Weber because I like their reliability. Um, my emails are always sent. They're sent when I want to send them. Um, they're easy to work with. They take care of any duplicate emails or when people opt out of my list. Um, they also have an amazing customer service department. And anytime I've needed to contact customer service for anything, they responded back to me with an answer in 15 minutes. And, you know, when you go over to AWeber and you need a hand, you need a hand now. You don't need a hand in, you know, an hour from now or, you know, tomorrow. You need it now. So I really like um, working with them because they're very easy to get along with. So why do you want to create a list? Well, you know, people like to do business with people that they know, like, and trust. So, you know, when you stay in constant contact with somebody, you develop a relationship. And you know, nothing is more important, especially in today's economy, than having an amazing relationship with people, especially in your niche. So if you're marketing to them and you're building a relationship with people and you're developing that trust, and then you offer them a product that they're interested interested in and they choose to buy something from you, you're going to want to capture their information so that you can continue to keep in contact with them, let them provide them with additional value, and then the next time you have something to share with them, you can send them another update of, hey, I've got something else that you might be interested in taking a peek at, and should they like that, you know, you get paid, or you get them in on a training call, or you can, um, you know, share an event with them, anything. There's, there's so many reasons that you're going to want to keep in contact with people. So this video like I said was going to show you how to set up your account and if you already have one you can stop now and move on to video number two um, those of you who have not yet set up your account we're going to do that now and then on our next video we'll talk about how to send our confirmation email alright I will see you in just a moment over at aweber.com and again my link is http colon forward slash forward slash aweber.com forward slash question mark three two eight two 
four one okay so I encourage you to open up a, a, another screen so you can watch me as you do yours so we can get through it together I'll be right back on the other side hold on one second okay so here we are over at our Aweber account okay and this is what you're going to see you're gonna see it says Aweber over here and then you're gonna to want to come over here to where it says order okay you're gonna to come to where you see order and you're going to click on order okay now one of the really exciting things about Aweber is they want you to take a trial of their software and you can actually try it for a month for just a dollar um, and then you can continue on a nineteen dollar a month basis now this was the same price last year so they haven't changed their prices in a really long time so you know you'll get an opportunity to um, you know renew that monthly okay so let's scroll down a little bit and fill out this form right here you'll see where it has your your terms of payment you can either um, pay a dollar for your first month and nineteen month for each additional month after you can sign up for a three month program that's going to be about fifty bucks and then here's your twelve month your annual program it's about hundred ninety four dollars so you can do that as well so click on the one that works for you next what you're going to want to do is enter in an account name now your account name is your user ID and it's unique to you so make sure that it's something that um, you're going to remember so you're going to want to write it down okay if what you've chosen has already been taken go ahead and choose a different name again you're going to be the only one that's going to see it so whatever you pick for your account name then you're going to want to come in here into your name your first name your last name your address your city your state um, your country your zip code your email and finally your telephone number next you're going to want to enter in your credit card information into the next area okay finally what you're going to want to do is click on I agree complete my order once you click on I agree complete my order you're going to be great to go and you're going to want to head over to your current email carrier so that um, you're going to get a password emailed to you alright so um, make sure you look for that password and then what you're going to want to do is come back to Aweber back to the main screen here and enter your login information right over here where it says login and password okay that's it for how you create your account very easy very basic stuff um, if you found this video valuable please share it with a friend if you do have any questions please reach out to me you can reach me at 813-863-1452 this is Terry Bork and I'm so excited to be working with you and I'll see you on video number two make it a great day